Hello, and welcome back to the Fright Nights Ghost Pod. Yes, it's me, it's Mark, he's here again for another week of, um, jollity, spooky stuff, I don't know, call it what you will. Anyway, I shall continue. Right, um, last Friday, or was it last Saturday? Last Saturday, no, it was last Friday. Uh, Friday night's head office, they went over to the old Brighton police cells. And they had a pretty good night there, actually. Um, they used the SLS camera. Apparently they picked up two spirits down in um, down the basement. And um, a couple of the guests actually interacted. I went to the sort of feelings you get dealing with the uh, spirits through the SLS, but um, <laughs> they're quite something if you actually get the chance to uh, actually hold hands with a spirit and things like that. Okay, also, um, a couple of the guests, they were down in... Let me get this right. Um... They were down in one of the ladies' cells, or the, uh, uh, yeah, the ladies' cells, and they actually witnessed, um, what is it, a, a bright orange, a large bright orange ball suddenly appear in front of them and drift off and disappear into the ceiling. Wow. Unfortunately, I didn't see that, but well done, guys. Well done, people. That's, that's really good. A fantastic night. Anyway, right. <clears throat> Coming soon. But not yet listed. Uh, we've got Slough Fort in Rochester. will be listed very soon. Uh, I do have a date for that, but uh, it's not, not been given to it. Give, it's not been given to me. So, uh, but do keep an eye on our Facebook page for that one. And also, Talliston House in Great Dunmo. We're going to be doing a Christmas ghost hunt. Uh, Talliston House is an amazing building. It really is. We did an event there a couple of weeks ago, and we had some fantastic activity. We really did. And uh, because of the way the house is, uh, we thought, um, yeah, we're going to do a Christmas one there. Um, if you go onto their website, Talliston House, uh, you'll see exactly the sort of house it is. And if you look uh, onto it on our Facebook page, I've got some photographs there of Talliston House when we were last there. And this place is just amazing. It really is. So it's in December. I think it's 11th, I think, something like that. But oh, 15th. It's one of those. But the date will be on there very, very soon. <clears throat> right. OK. Now, I've got to give you a, a bit of a notice about uh, Friday Night's Essex at the Casal. Uh, due to circumstances beyond their control, and they really are beyond their control, uh, they've had to cancel their date for June the 7th. Um, I believe everyone has had uh, a refund, but, um, you know, if you want to, they are going to try and uh, rebook it again as soon as it uh, becomes available. So do keep an eye out for that. Um, it's a shame. It's a great place. It really is. We had some great activity there when we were last there. Um, so do keep an eye out for that. Again, it's, it's just out of their hands, this one, guys. So really sorry about that. Right. What we got coming up? OK, coming up, we've got this Saturday, Fright Night's head office. We're going to be at Strelly Hall. Now, as far as I can tell, there's, I think there's about two tickets left. So it's pretty much sold out. But do have a look. Um, I should have looked before I did this, really, but I didn't. Very foolish of me. But, uh, yeah, that's that's this Saturday between 7.30 and 2.30. And if, if there are any tickets left, that is at £45 each. Uh, do have a look, though. Um, on Also this Saturday, Fright Nights London are going to be at Avenue House. Um, and this is their only date for 2019. So you know, it's worth getting in there. And that's, yeah, Saturday the 18th of May uh, from 9 o'clock till 2 in the morning. And tickets for that are at £55. Again, I think there's only a few tickets left for that one. So do get in quick. Right, Friday the 24th of May. Uh, Fright Nights Warwickshire are going to be at Warwick Castle. That's uh, young Libby is going to be doing um, doing an event there. She does a brilliant night, just like a little uh, little little history tour first, but it's a history tour with a little bit of a difference to it. It's it's very good. It really is excellent. And that's from eight till two. And there are some tickets left. Uh, they are going quite fast though. Um, I've just remembered. Yes, I do believe there there's only a few tickets left. So that's at forty five pounds each. <clears throat> right. Fright Nights Berkshire are going to be at uh, the old social hall in Englefield Green on Saturday the 1st of June from 7.30 till 2. And that's at £35 a head. Uh, again, that's a, that's a little mystery, that place. It's, it's 
It's steeped in history, but we don't really know what sort of history it is. Um, we've got a few ideas, and I don't want to give too much away for those who haven't been uh, been there, but we've never had a Duff Night there. It's, it's just one of those little mysterious places, you know. It's sort of tucked in the middle of Englefield Green, out of the way, and um, it's a very old building, I can tell you that. But um, do check up on that. That's, yeah, £35 per head. Uh, good little place, though, good little place. Right, Friday night's head office. Uh, going to be at Oxford Castle, and this is a sleepover event. So, that's Friday the 7th of June, from 9 o'clock at night to 8 o'clock the next morning, and that's at £59 a head. Now, it's a sleepover event. You can sleep wherever you want within the castle. Wherever you want. You can sleep down in the crypt, you can sleep in the debtors' towers, you can sleep over anywhere you want. But beware, it's haunted. Okay, so yes, uh, that's a sleepover event. I think the, um, let me get this right, I believe the actual ghost hunt starts at nine, uh, finishes about, excuse me, oh dear, about one, I think, or two, and then it's bedtime and you all go off in your own ways. Don't forget to uh, yeah, bring a sleeping bag and uh, yeah, just make sure you keep warm. I mean, we were there last time and I've got to be honest, we slept down in the, uh, in the crypt and it wasn't that cold, to be honest, it wasn't that cold at all. But uh, I don't know. I can't speak for the rest of the castle, of course. I believe some people actually stayed in the um, in the base room in the cafeteria. <laughs> but anyway, just to let you know, it's there. Right. Okay. On Saturday, the eighth of June, Fright Nights you know, West Yorkshire are going to be Amy Mills in Leeds, and that is from eight o'clock at night till two in the morning, and that's at forty nine pounds a head. Uh, that's uh, Little John, he does a good night, he does a good night, does Little John, well done, well done, that's what I like. Friday night's Cambridgeshire, uh, going to be at one of my personal favourite places, this is Peterborough Museum, on Saturday the 8th of June, uh, from 8 till 2, and the tickets for that are at £59 each. Okay, it's a wonderful place, Peterborough Museum, brilliant, it really is, it's, it's I, I mean, for comfort zone, it's big, it's airy. There's loads of places to go without interfering with uh, with another vigil. Uh, it's got um, an old surgery up there, and it's also got dungeons and everything else right down the basements. It's uh, it's a fabulous place. <laughs> it really is. So getting on that one. Uh, right, Fright Nights London are going to be at Charlton House on Saturday, the fifteenth of June. That's from nine o'clock at night till oh, I've got five. That can't be right. It's at, I know it starts at nine o'clock. I may have mistyped there, but have a look on our Facebook page and I'll uh, I'll get back to you on that one. And that's at £55 a head. <clears throat> right, now one to look out for that's coming up very soon. They've uh, they've uh, been there once before, actually. This is, sorry, this is, uh, let me get this right. This is Fright Nights Essex. Um, it's going to be at Temple, Cressing Temple Barn in Braintree on Saturday the 29th of June from nine o'clock at night till three in the morning. Um, tickets for that are at 55 pounds a head. Uh, now this is an exclusive event for Fright Nights Essex. Uh, they were there earlier on this year and they had a really good night. Uh, if I remember rightly, yes, um, there was a, a couple of people, they were in one of the barns and uh, they had a voice come over on the spirit box um, and the voice just simply said, get out. And they did. So that's really worth going back there to find out what you know, what else could go on, what else could happen. So check that one out, guys. Um, right, now, people have been asking, Friday Night's merchandise. Yes, we do do our own merchandise. Okay, we do hats. We also do t-shirts, we do hoodies, we do sweatshirts, uh, all sorts of things like that. If you are interested in uh, <coughs> purchasing any uh, Friday Night's merchandise, just go onto our, uh, our website. And um, if you go along the top, or, uh, on the one header, you'll see Fright Nights merchandise. Click on that, and all the all the stuff is there available at various prices. Okay, a newsletter. We do do a newsletter. One went out last week, I think. Um, we're going to try and get it out monthly. And if you want to be part or want to receive our newsletter, just send us a personal uh, message on Facebook and uh, give us your email address, and we will add you to the list. There's quite a few people on it. There's a lot of people on it, which is good, only good, only good, only good, right, okay, okay, yeah, so uh, again, the Casal, uh, that is, has actually been cancelled for the 7th of June, uh, due to circumstances beyond Fright Night's uh, Essex control, um, but do keep an eye out for the, for a new date, which 
will appear. Well, we determine. Well, they're determined it will appear, so um, I'm sure it will. So keep an eye out for that. Um, okay, and the Crescent Temple Barn. Don't forget that one. Uh, one to certainly look out for because it's an exclusive event. It's only only Fright Night's Essex can do that one. So nobody else. You won't get the opportunity to to uh, to do it with any other company or anybody else. Okay, and that is Saturday the 29th of June from nine till three, and the tickets are fifty five pounds each. Right. Don't forget our YouTube channel. It's still there. Uh, I think it's only got about eight followers at the moment, but hey, oh, time is young. Do have a look. It's got all footage of all sorts of places that we've been to, certainly over the last few months. Uh, it is very new. Uh, you've got lots of images of me. And if that's not reason to like it, I really don't know what it is. Yes, all right. Okay, um, and also our membership. Our membership is increasing. Our VIP membership. Yes, if you want to become a VIP member of Fright Nights, it's fantastic. It really is. It costs £15 a year. And for that, you get a Fright Nights pin. You do. You get a Fright Nights membership card. And you also get one of these. What's that? This, this is, this is a pendulum. I can't unwrap it because it's all been wrapped up. But it's one of those pendulums of a chain, you know, and they go backwards and forwards and everything else. You get one of those as well. And for that £15 a year, you also get a 10% discount off at least 95% of all our events up and down the country. That can't be bad, can it? And you also get £10, a £10 Fright Nights gift voucher, which can be used at any of our events up and down the country, on your birthday, while you were a member. Can't be bad. You will, there's also a point system where you earn points that take uh, that takes off, that get deducted from other events you go to. It's it, It's got to be worth it. £15 a year, that's all it is. And for that, you get a nice little package. If you want to know more details, do go onto our website. Uh, again, look across the header on our on our homepage. And it will say Fright Nights Merchant. Uh, no, Fright Nights Merchandise. Fright Nights VIP Members. Have a look at that, and all the details are there, and it really is worth it. It really is. We've got a few people now that have been on it for quite a while. We've been renewing some memberships as well, so we're doing something right. It's got to be worth it. It really is. Okay, and don't forget, of course, on the 29th and 30th of June, we will have our own stand at the uh, Dating Show Live at the NEC in Birmingham. Yes, we will have a stand there. You will be able to buy tickets. You will be able to buy, sorry, not tickets. You will be able to buy uh, gift vouchers to uh, whatever value uh, you want to buy, pay for, of course. And again, you can use those on any of our events up and down the country. And not only that, we have a tarot reader there, a young lady called Janet Heenan, who is a uh, medium. One of a medium that works for Fright Nights, does various events with us. Lovely lady. And she's going to be there on the uh, both days, Saturday and the Sunday. And she's going to be doing tarot readings. If you want to book yourself for a session, do go onto our Facebook, uh, our website. And you will um, you will see, yeah, just put in um, tarot reading or something. And you will find Janet's, uh, it's right, you will find the, the page on the actual uh, event itself. So you can back it there or you can book it on the day. OK, but either way, get in quick because it's going to be fun. Right. Again, that's it from me. I thank you very much for looking. It, it is very much appreciated. I really do. Uh, I, I love doing this. I love doing Fright Nights and I like people to enjoy themselves at our events. That is what I aim to do. So I shall see some of you out there in the haunted world or you will see me on here. So thanks ever so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye.